Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So we are just on our way to the hospital for our 24 week growth scan. So this is going to be my pregnancy update. I think my last one was around 20 weeks. I'll have a look and check and then update you all from the last pregnancy update video. So on our way to the hospital, we have our growth scan. So when you are pregnant with multiples, you have more scans just to monitor their growth because obviously it's a higher risk pregnancy. When you're having identical twins with a shared placenta, I believe you have a scan every two weeks. And if you're having multiples twins that have their own placenta, you have a scan every four weeks. Unless there is reason for concern, then you would have a scan every two weeks. So we are just on our way now to the hospital for our scan. This will actually be Jordan's first time seeing the twins since 10 weeks uh-huh you haven't been to any other scans no, have so you i've been able to look after the boys yeah and they're actually not allowed to most scans no so mm -hmm. jordan's been on um, dad duty at school today so yeah. i can come no jensen would be allowed today oh, would they? yeah kids are allowed post 20 weeks ah post 20 yeah. weeks is that yeah okay that's it. so we've just got home from the hospital i am changed changed my outfit because i had to take some brand photos so i had to um change my outfits up so i'm in a different jumper okay so how did the scan go so the scan went well i don't have any pictures because they don't give you pictures um at these growth scans it's kind of like very medical rather than oh look here's a cute picture it's, it's very do the measurements and that and that's all basically so in terms of the twins growth they are both growing at the rate they should be, which is great news. The only thing is they are still on, um, so twin on the left, my left, is actually on the third centile. And if you know about centiles, then um, I never know whether it's percentile or centile, but you know what I mean. If you've had children, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the way they measure children's growth, basically. And yeah, so twin on the left is on the third centile, so very, very small. However, they have no concerns that there could be anything potentially wrong because the head and the body are a really good size, actually. It's just the legs that bring the whole centile, uh, that bring the whole overweight size like on the scale down because the legs are measuring a little bit shorter than average which then brings a whole of um which then brings the baby on the scale right down so they just think that the baby may be short basically which is completely fine i did mention you know can that be a sign of anything but they said no absolutely not because everywhere else it's completely in proportion just the legs are a little bit short so like some people are tall like some people are short um, they think that this baby may just be a bit short. So they're not too worried about that. And as long as the baby keeps growing along the same centile line, then there'll be no issues. They won't need to induce me quicker. It will still be around a 37 to 38 week when they bring the twins here, which will be just after Christmas. So I'm actually 37 weeks, I think Christmas Eve or Boxing Day. Uh, I can't remember, but I think, yeah, I think it's actually Christmas Eve. So um, that's when they'll want to bring them or at some point around that time. And then twin on the right is on the 10th centile. So again, not massive, but her legs are slightly longer, which means that her overall size on the centile graph is higher. So I've got one on the third, one on the 10th. Basically, I just have to stock up on tiny baby clothes so that is one of my jobs that I need to do soon because I don't have hardly any at the moment. And with the boys it was so different because they were big babies. Uh, Jensen was £8.1 and Jesse was £8.13. So big babies. So yeah, it feels, it feels funny to have um, small babies. I'm really not used to that. So I definitely need to get some tiny baby clothes. So at the minute there are no concerns as long as the babies keep growing. Um, the consultant said it'll only be if their growth starts to kind of tail off on the graph like that, that they might think around 34 to 35 weeks. Why are they not growing as they should be? And then something may be done then, but until then, you just don't know. My next scan will be 28 weeks, so in four weeks time, 
which doesn't seem all that long away actually so I've just got to wait for a letter for that. They did my blood pressure so my blood pressure has raised from when it um, was taken at booking which can be normal so that's okay it's, it's still not classed as a high level yet but I kind of on the border so this is what happened with Jensen but then it kind of stayed like this until it went overdue so my only concern is that Jensen was around eight pound of baby so is the same gonna happen when the twins get a bit bigger and I don't know but then as the consultant said you were actually fine in your second pregnancy you didn't have any high blood pressure issues so who knows you, you don't know it is it has risen since booking but um, it could be for a number of reasons so they're just going to keep an eye on that and I need to keep an eye on any other signs for preeclampsia so I'm going to have a read up about that and know what signs to look out for I do have a blood pressure machine at home as well so um, I can keep track of it myself so I think that's all that came from the consultant appointment just that they're going to scan me every four weeks I don't feel like they need to scan me every two weeks yet they are growing at, at a good rate they're kind of sticking to their centiles although they're on the low graph they are sticking um to their centiles which is a good thing in myself i'm feeling good i'm on iron tablets which can be interesting but i'm doing all right on them actually uh yeah i'm feeling good on them they're definitely giving me a little bit more energy i'm feeling pretty energetic not massively energetic but you know pretty energetic for for me during this pregnancy i still have that delightful taste in my mouth which is not going to go anywhere so I'm not going to go on about it but I just manage it with brushing my teeth a lot and always having mints on me so that's the update on the taste in my mouth my cravings have been fruit which is a good thing I love eating fruit mainly um, nectarines and mangoes I love that whole fruity taste in my mouth and I think that's all to do with um, the taste in my mouth and trying to eat things that make it go away for a while I'm obsessed with orange juice I have to drink orange juice I do drink water but it has to be ice cold otherwise it just tastes funny in my mouth. I genuinely can't remember what it feels like to have normal uh, taste buds in your mouth so that's something, that's probably the only thing I'm looking forward to, um, to getting back to is having a normal kind of palate in my mouth. So let's do a bump shot, so here is my bump shot with twins at 24 weeks. So I feel like I'm getting a lot bigger, I really really do. Like. I'm really popping out now um, but I did see someone that was pregnant with a single baby and she was due uh, before me just a few weeks before me but she was so much bigger than me so it does just prove every bump is completely different no matter whether you're carrying twins or a single baby some people have a big bump some people have a small bump and that's completely fine so never compare your bump to anyone else's because as long as the baby's healthy and they always monitor you anyway then that's all you need to worry about so that is the end of my pregnancy update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.